Hey everyone, it is Havo High here with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be discussing the Super Dragon Ball Heroes collaboration with Dokkan and Super Dragon Ball Heroes celebrating its 10th anniversary. And I would say, what, well, this is the third or fourth collaboration that uh, Dokkan's had with, uh, with Heroes. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. And always a shout out to DBZ Space and the Dokkan Wiki for info and images provided. So we were confirmed by the V-Jump Leaks that we will be having our annual Super Dragon Ball Heroes collaboration with Dokkan. It is, once again, an annual thing. It's very hype. For some of you new players out there, you might have no idea what we're talking about. But these, because these units are limited to this banner in November. And so once a year, you're able to summon for these wild, wild units. If you guys don't know what, what Super Dragon Ball Heroes is, it is a non-canon. <laughs> it's just literally out there creating crazy characters and uh, and it's basically a game in Japan. So my biggest question is, will JP and Global have this at the same time? It's very unlikely because I think it's, that's only happened one time where uh, I think it was like in March where Super Dragon Ball Heroes on JP and because it was World Mission launch um, happened with, uh, with JP at the same time with Global. Uh, but usually the November one you know, Global is going to get it a different time. We actually, Global didn't get these units for a very, very long time. So, uh, going to be very interesting to see what units drop, and that's what we're going to talk about. What units are going to be dropping for this new collaboration, the 2021? I think it's going to be wild because it is the 10th uh, anniversary for Heroes. Um, so that's very exciting there. So for you newer players out there, and for people that maybe watch my best teams, there's one unit that you should all definitely summon for, and I hope all the units will be on the uh, uh, on the upcoming banner and that is going to be thickness of time this unit here uh, when you guys see my best teams I always get messages how do you get this unit what is that unit how do you get the uh, TUR uh, Supreme Kaya time and um, and this is where you get it this is the super drug uh, super Dragon Ball Heroes uh, banner that's going to be dropping and uh, yeah fantastic support unit uh, absolutely will be wild um, for for a lot of players to uh, pick up this unit here now there's also a bunch of other units once again hopefully will be on this banner um, uh, that you can summon for and they should get a Dokkan Awakening I don't know if they're going to do Dokkan Awakenings for all these units. So when you look at the top row, these are the older units that haven't been Dokkan Awakened yet. So, uh, you know, Super Mira, you have, you know, King Vegeta here, the Migra, uh, you know, Mass, Mass Vegeta. So these units here uh, are one year older. So I think it was 2018 when these uh, um, arrived. And these were the last units. These were last years um, with the Xeno Goku Vegeta. Uh, what is this? Go Tanks, Go Hanks, Vajanks, whatever their name is right here. I don't know if these will get Dokkan Awakened. It seems like they're kind of you know behind on it. But it'd be really cool if all these guys got a Dokkan Awakening. So uh, I expect the top row to get a Dokkan Awakening, and not expecting the bottom row. Even though you know what, these two units right here are very very good for Goku's family and Vegeta's family. They're amazing support units so if they do get a Dokkan Awakening uh, I would hope these two actually get a Dokkan Awakening maybe they would just save these units for for another time so um, so that's what you get to look at uh, look forward to for the older units now let's talk about new units let's talk about units that uh, we hope that we're gonna be getting uh, in this new collaboration and uh, they've already done you know base form they've done Super Saiyan they've done, even done Super Saiyan 3 I, I think with the new you know, Gogeta coming out. A lot of people are speculating that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is going to be a Super Saiyan 4 leader, and but there's not too many Super Saiyan 4 units, so why not add some on uh, on this collaboration? So, uh, as you can see there on the right hand side, it's the Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku and the Super Saiyan uh, 3 Xeno Vegeta, both amazing units. It's time to go Super Saiyan 4, right? It would make total sense to have a Xeno Super Saiyan 4 Goku and a Xeno Super Saiyan uh, 4 Vegeta, and uh, and those units have to be really good, right? So they, they can also be Dokkan Festival exclusives because we've never had a Dokkan Festival exclusive um, uh, a Super Dragon Ball Heroes unit. So that could be a possibility. What I'm actually hoping, kind of going back to these units back here, is maybe put some of these, uh, or even Thickness of, thickness of Time, or some of the older uh, units in the normal um, 
summoning banner right because just waiting one year to pick up some of these units might be pretty difficult here so you know these super saiyan 3 goku and vegeta actually very very good units so so with these super saiyan 4 opportunities comes kind of door opening for other super saiyan 4 units that are in the super dragon ball heroes world as i mentioned it's not canon all right so they have a bunch of different super saiyan 4 uh you know characters on there number one would be super saiyan 4 broly i think <laughs> i think Japan would eat this up would this would sell really good if they you know announced the Super Saiyan 4 Broly um, Then you have of course Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, right? That's a fantastic unit uh, He looks great as well and uh, a lot of hype behind that. There's a, a Super Saiyan 4 Bardock All right, so that's an option and then I think the one that's the most hype which very unlikely they might uh, they might introduce would be a Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, right? So these are your Super Saiyan 4 options that I would say most people have seen or uh, would want in a Super Saiyan 4 category. Uh, just alone, just these units alone here could just just be amazing. Uh, uh, and this is the really the only time to introduce some of these crazier characters is in the Super Dragon Ball Heroes collaboration, right? So uh, Zeno Goku and Zeno Vegeta, I could see them introducing that, you know, in uh, without the collaboration. But uh, these other ones, yeah, they're, they're they're pretty out there. So so with that, uh, also I want you guys to think about is the last time we did Super Dragon Ball Heroes and seeing some of these characters, it was based off of World Mission. Since then, right, they've came out with Universal or the Universe mission and the Big Bang mission is what they're doing right now. Um, so I would expect maybe characters from the Universe mission or even a little bit further from that is what possibly we might get for uh, for new units. For example, like a Super Saiyan Blue beat could be something that we might see or, or maybe a Super Saiyan God beat. Uh, because we don't have that unit there. We only have the what, Great Saiyan Man 4, right? So what are some units that could possibly be coming out in this world mission? We talked about the Super Saiyan 4s. That's very likely, right? I don't know about the crazier ones like Broly, Gohan, and, and Vegito, things of that nature. So, but these there's some interesting characters that uh, could possibly drop in this upcoming celebration. And hey, you know what? I'm hyped about every single one of these here. So the first one that uh, could possibly be coming out would be uh, God Trunks, right? God Trunks, I believe it was part of the end of the universe mission or the beginning of Big Bang mission. And uh, this unit, when it came out, really stirred up a lot of uh, a lot of hype. Uh, character looks really good there with that red hair. Uh, very powerful character in a sense within the uh, promotional anime and uh, I think a lot of people would be very interested in pulling a god uh, God trunks the only reason why I don't think it might show up though is because if it's going to be more Super Saiyan 4 oriented uh, you know they, they might not you know add a god unit like a like a god trunk so but still a possibility and would be very very hype if we got uh, that unit there another unit that would be I would say uh, very likely because uh, you would need to have some extreme units as well and uh, that's going to be hearts hearts was a part of the universal um uh, universal mission and uh you know uh, this unit here or this character here was the main villain in that saga and uh, would make total sense like cumber uh, cumber last uh in the world mission i would say would be a top villain a few was actually the the main main villain he's kind of the main villain through all throughout all the super dragon ball heroes um but uh, just like Cumber, I think Hearts would be kind of falling in the same, um, uh, same situation, the same idea. So I think we would see Hearts if they're going to go this route. So that's, that's very exciting. Um, another unit that I really would want. So out of the uh, extreme units, this unit would be great Hearts. But this one here, Road Warrior, what I call Road Warrior, uh, uh, Zamasu. This is Merge Zamasu with like these little appendages things of that nature it looks kind of like a you know with that uh, uh, bandage around his eye don't know what happened to it um, uh, looks like just kind of kind of out of uh, the movie Mad Max right uh, that's why I call the road warrior so road warrior Zamasu would be a very very cool unit to have he really didn't do too much in the promotional anime to be honest with you he would just looked really cool he had like one or two fights 
and uh, yeah, I think would be uh, really, really fun to uh, to have this unit. The next unit, uh, I would say cooler fans out there, uh, you would spend every dime for this unit here, and that's Golden Metal Cooler. Now, Golden Metal Cooler like was in like maybe two episodes for just a couple seconds. We had no clue what happened with him. Uh, <laughs> so uh, this is just one of those units that just looks really cool, and you're like, man, I would love to have metal golden cooler like we did have golden cooler already uh, in last year's um, uh, in last year's extreme units that we ended up getting uh, in the uh, in the heroes banner um, and that's was well well liked and everyone was summoning for him but imagine a metal golden cooler and what kind of uh, unit this would be so I did go over a bunch of extreme units uh, we talked about Super Saiyan 4 talked about uh, 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 God Trunks but there are a few units that, if they came out with these, um, would highly, highly sell like crazy. But I, I think we're a year away. I think we're a year. I think that this will be the 2021 celebration. So the first and foremost, let's talk about. I, I made these two units quite some time ago. Uh, I did the um, and the the art, uh, the people with the. Uh, uh, the renders and stuff like that. I'll put their links in the description below because uh, this art is just amazing. Um, and I'll credit those individuals on there. So the Daishin Khan Grand Priest Goku. Uh, when this came out in the promotional anime, I think a lot of people were hyped about it. And that's why I was like, dude, I got to make a Dokkan card <laughs> out of it. And it uh, came out pretty cool. Um, but that unit there is one of my top of my list because uh yeah grand priest goku right that uh can activate ui no problem once again i don't think we're getting a card like that because that would just be just a ridiculous card in dokkan uh but hey one can hope right one can hope the other one i just recently made and of course this is part of the current uh big bang mission is uh the limber breaker super saiyan 4 goku and then of course you have vegeta as well um it just looks really, really cool. Um, you know, them fighting, uh, you know, Black Janemba uh, or Janemba Black. Um, I, 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 there's no words because it looks amazing. Uh, has that fiery, uh, you know, pinkish glow. And then, of course, if they could ever do this, is actually have the Golden Dragon Fist Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker uh, Zeno. Goku and Vegeta on the same card, just like they had uh, the Beyond Blue LR. <laughs> These are definitely like LR type units that they can bring out for uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes. So, uh, so yeah, would they do something like this? Probably not in this celebration. I think they'll stick with Super Saiyan 4, but not go into Limit Breaker. If they did go Limit Breaker, man, that banner is going to do very, very well uh, on there. But I think they're just going to go Super Saiyan 4 and maybe Limit Breaker in 2021. Um, so with that, that's why I'm so hyped. I, I really, really like... Um, these different types of characters and the possible of having you know a limit breaker uh, super saiyan 4 goku and vegeta um you know it's you know it's it's fun that's really the reason why we play these games right is to you know imagine some of these crazy units coming out uh, for dokkan and dokkan does just need to step things up right it's been pretty uh uh lackluster since the worldwide celebration and not not too many people really enjoy the worldwide celebration and right now especially on global there's not much to do so anyway so let's go ahead and recap you know grand priest goku would be pretty cool limit breaker super saiyan 4 goku we got golden cooler we got road warriors amasu we got hearts we got uh, god trunks uh, we got a bunch of uh, Super Saiyan 4s, and uh, yeah, so, and of course, hey, you guys can now summon for thickness uh, in November. So with that, with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let me know what you guys think about this upcoming collaboration. What do you guys, what kind of characters you guys want to see? Uh, do you guys like some of the characters that you saw from uh, this video? Let me know let me know so with that if you're new to my channel i already said that all that so with that thank you all for watching keep on doconning we'll catch you next time later